Так. Did you really save his life? Not surprise you. Well, you and David aren't exactly... How do you say it? Mites. Doesn't mean I leave your father to perish on this island. Thank you. Yeah. Well, perhaps gratitude is in order now. Yeah, that's what the thank you is for. Hmm. Is that all your father's life is worth to you? Please. You couldn't handle it. Perhaps you're the one who couldn't handle it. Follow me. Wait five minutes. Go get some firewood or something. As you wish. <sighs> what am I looking at? The horizon. Is it doing something? Well, I just thought you'd find it calming. It is. So is rum. Emma, I can tell that your heart is uneasy, and it's my job, well, I hope it's my job to protect your heart, even when no one is physically trying to steal it. You don't have to stop me from going after gold. I'm smarter than that. You didn't turn my heart dark, and I'm not going to fall into one of his traps. I'm not worried about him getting too hot. I was talking about your parents. <sighs> I've talked about this. I talked, you walked away. I just want to know, is anything going to be enough? Or are you willing to lose them just to spite them? Didn't like the rum. They've done a lot of good. Turned themselves into heroes. Yes, I know they didn't own up to what they did. But did you ever think maybe they were ashamed? And they wanted you to like them. I'd like them more if I'd known they turned themselves around. I like when people find their good hearts along the way. They were trying to protect you, Swan, twice. Before you were born, they wanted to make you happy. And when they found you again, they wanted to make you proud. Do you want both those to be failures? So, do you think Rumble Stillskin is right? I'm in the book now. He said everything besides our little adventure would go back to normal. Do you think that it is? He's right. Otherwise, I'd remember that damn bar wench I kissed. How would that prove anything? I know how you kiss. I'd have gone after her. But I didn't. My life went on exactly the same as before. Yeah, must have been the rum. Everything's back to normal. You're a bloody hero, Swan. So are you. I wanted to thank you, Killian. For going back for me in the first place in New York. If you hadn't... It was the right thing to do. How did you do it? How did you get to me? Well, the curse was coming. I ditched my crew and took the Jolly Roger as fast and as far as I possibly could to outrun it. You outran a curse? I'm a hell of a captain. <laughs> I once... I was outside the curse's purview. I knew that the walls were down. Transport between the worlds was possible again. All I needed was a magic beam. Those are not easy to come by. They are if you've got something of value to trade. And what was that? Why, the Jolly Roger, of course. You traded your ship for me? Aye.
actually managed to make me forget that Storybrooke was under siege from an evil Snow Queen. I was worried that our run-in with that thief might have cast a poor. I apologize for overreacting. Me. It's okay. You wanna come in and have coffee with my parents and newborn and a human ice maker? <laughs> I need my own place. I suppose we just have to wait till next time. Next time? I don't remember asking. It's because it's my turn. Will you go out with me again? So why did you summon me? Because I know there's something about your past, but there's something you're not telling me. And that's okay. What's not okay is you lying to me about it. I love you, right? I haven't been entirely forthright with you. The truth is, I remember my history with us well. And it was only. Did you break her heart? Worse. Look, whatever you did, you're not that person anymore. It's not gonna change anything between us. That's quite a lot of faith you're putting on me, Swan. I know, and there's a reason for it. What's that? My parents I had this moment today where I doubted them. They said they were going for a hike and I actually thought they were lying to me. Were they? No. Of course not, my parents would never lie to me. But the fact that I could think that they would, it reminded me that I have this tendency to expect the worst of people. In my childhood, people were always letting me down and I... Hey, I don't intend to let you down. I know. I know, whatever happened with that sandwich. You can tell me on your own time. Because no matter what I'm going to do, what my parents always do, I'm going to choose to see the best in you. I'm out with you. We just didn't want to interrupt. So you awkwardly stood there and watched? Next time, interrupt. I'm afraid we have some bad news. It turns out Corella and Ursula were out something. They resurrected Maleficent. The dragon that I slayed under the clock tone? Dragon? I thought she was some sort of mummified beast. Uh, whatever she was, she's back to her old self now. And as long as she's in town, no one is safe. I don't get it. Why are these witches waging war against us? Because they're villains, and we're heroes. Just be gentle. <clears throat> Sorry, I just thought if I did it quickly, it'd be like ripping over. Swan, don't make a man drink alone. Not in the mood for a drink or a man. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you today. Well, I know you feel like you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders, but at some point, even though we're quite different, you've got to trust me. That's what you think this is about, that I don't trust you? Is that not what it's about? Of course I trust you. Then why do you keep pulling away from because me? Because everyone I've ever been with is dead. 
Neil, Graham, even Walsh. I lost everyone. I, I can't lose you too. My love, you don't have to worry about me. There's one thing I'm good at. Surviving. Hook, what's wrong? You gave Ursula everything she wanted. When I almost didn't know. I was so desperate to figure out what the crocodile was up to, I almost became the man I used to be. You have no idea how easy it is to fall back into the darkness. Whatever mistakes you made with Ursula, you fixed. Aye. But it's a stark reminder of something. What? With all this talk of authors and the book, we've never discussed one fact. I was a villain. But you're not anymore. Neither is Regina, but she still lost out the ending. If we're to believe the rules of the book, then it's only a matter of time before I lose mine. Wait, if you're afraid of losing your happy ending, that means you found it. What is it? Don't you know, Emma? It's you. I don't know. Just disappeared into the night. Hey, what's going on? The dark one. It's no longer tethered to the crocodile. What? Where the hell is it? It hasn't gone anywhere. Darkness. It's surrounding us.
there right before we got dragged away. Everyone reappeared where they were before this whole mess started. Oh. Yeah, sorry about the mess. I really needed to find that book, and I'm usually a bit tired here. How many times do I have to tell you, love? I'm a survivor. Look, I didn't mean to cause any panic. I woke moments before your parents and came up here looking for your boy. He's fine, Henry. He's fine. I just glad you are too. What is it? When I watched you die. I was afraid I was never going to get a chance to tell you something. Tell me what? I... want to thank you for sacrificing yourself. Henry and I wouldn't have succeeded without you. Of course, love. That's all in the day's work for a hero.